I know and understand that Samsung want to meddle with the Bixby button and software to prevent us from hacking it, but they've also recently been meddling with the navigation bar. A recent software update has made some considerable changes, let's take a look. If you haven't looked at the navbar settings in a while, let's quickly reacquaint you with where they are. Go to settings, then display, scroll right to the bottom of the screen and you will find the navigation bar settings right there. The biggest change to the functionality is the new show and hide button. So if I toggle that on, you will now see a little dot here that's currently filled in. If I tap it, that will then automatically hide the navigation bar whenever you go into applications. To get it back, you swipe up from the bottom of the screen and then after a couple of seconds, it will disappear again. So when I go to a home screen, it's fixed, persistent, go to an application, it immediately removes itself. If you want to fix the navigation bar back onto your screen, swipe up and then toggle the button there and it should stay fixed on whatever application you are using. Now if that's what you would consider a positive addition to the functionality, which I certainly do, here is a negative retraction to the stylization of a navigation bar. Previously, when you set the background colour it was quite solid or you could customise it to whatever colour you wanted. But what we're left with now is these horrible diluted colours such as purple I'm not sure if you can see that on my camera pink is that orange yeah I'm really not quite sure on any of these backgrounds now to the navigation bar so what you can do if you want to is download this application which I've recommended before which is called navbar apps it allows you to really customize the navigation bar if you turn it on then you can set it to whatever color you want to. Again, you've got some nice solid colors here and you can change the saturation here if you want to and the opacity. Pretty much what you used to be able to do with the navigation settings in the Samsung uh, options. Or you can do it as an activated app. So whereby the navigation bar tries to match the application that it's been used on. So it was orange there. If I go to the BBC, that kind of looks white. So it doesn't always work properly. Uh, let's try another application such as the Creator Studio. And that does turn to red, which matches the top there. Doesn't look perfect as I say sometimes you can't really see the navigation buttons but there is the alternative option now this mini review and tutorial is based off of the stock Samsung Galaxy S8 which I bought from a Samsung store it could be slightly different for your carrier or you may not have got these software updates yet anyway let me know what you think of the changes thank you very much for watching this video enjoy the rest of your tech day bye for now Old school video gadgets journal, would you buy this shirt? Let me know.